Hi everyone, I hope you all are doing great and you are watching my videos and learning a lot. My name is Mariam. I'm the cost and management accountant and in this video I'm going to talk about what are the elements of financial statements while in my previous video I have talked about what are financial statements. So make sure you go and check that video so that you better understand this video. Well, there are five elements of financial statements. In my last video, I've talked about what are financial statements and I've and I told that the financial statements are the formal records of the business, right? And the, the elements make up those financial statements. So we have five elements here. I'll write them one by one. The first is going to be the assets. The second is going to be the liabilities. The third is going to be the capital. Fourth is going to be incomes and fifth is going to be expenses. Well, all financial statements revolve around these elements. Every accounting transaction ends up falling into one of these categories. For example, if I say the company has bought an asset, uh, bought a machinery that will fall into the asset category. If I say I have to pay something, I have to pay uh, the money to the bank that we took from it as a loan, that's, that, that will fall into the liabilities category. And if the shareholder of a company invest or inject more capital or more money to the business, that will fall into the capital category. And if I say we have sold uh, 1000 uh, units of a product to the general public, to the people, and we have earned from it, so it's going to be an income. Or if I say I have paid so many bills, I have paid the PTCL bill, I have paid uh, the utility bills, I have paid the rent, I have paid the electricity bill, these are all will go into the expenses category. So every accounting transaction will be one of these categories will be among one of these categories they well every accounting transaction will fall into these five categories and the first three categories will will be a part of the statement of financial position which we also call a balance sheet i'll tell you in my upcoming videos why we call it a balance sheet there's a reason behind it well if you uh, have a look in my previous video i've talked about uh, the financial statements how many they are so one of them was a balance sheet and these three the assets the liabilities and the capital are the elements of the this financial statement these three categories will be shown in balance sheet and the rest of the two the incomes and expenses will be a part of the income statement in which we talk about how much profit a business ha has earned. We'll take all the incomes and we uh, deduct the expenses from income to show up our profits. So these two are going to be the part of the income statement and these three are going to be the part of balance sheet. I've also talked about the statement of changes in equity in my previous video and in that statement we take the components of the capital. We take the capital into that statement and we adjust the capital over the over the periods, over the years. Like if I say uh, $1,000 was the equity of a business in year one uh, that raised to $2,000 in year two. This is what we show in the statement of changes in equity. And I've also mentioned the statement of cash flows in my previous video in which uh, we talk about the cash. Well, we talk about uh, the accrual basis uh, while creating income statements. But in the making of cash flow statement, we only take the transactions based on the cash. What cash? Uh, that means uh, there will be no receivables or no payables in the cash flows. Um, I'll break this concept down in my upcoming videos. But for now, uh, just remind that uh, the cash flow statement will be on the cash basis and we will add back all the uh, non uh, non cash transactions back to the income in the cash flow statement well the f the basic uh, the most important uh, financial statements uh, are going to be the balance sheet and the income statement we'll talk about these two in the next video i'll break down these elements a little more and we'll try to make you understand through examples 
and I'll create you a list of current assets, non-current assets, current liabilities, non-current liabilities, and much more. I'll give you the complete list of the assets and liabilities and all the other elements of financial statements. So stay tuned, watch my videos if you want to have a grip uh, on the accounting subject. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you like my teaching style, let me know. If you have any feedback regarding my teaching style, if you want to kind of change it or you have any recommendations, I'm open to them. Let me know in the comments again. Till then, till my next video, have a good luck, have a good life. Goodbye.